Hi, this is uh, Mark at Skywagon University again. We're just going to do a quick video. Somebody, we did a video with this Mooney comparing with a Cardinal recently, and somebody said, can you do a video on the PC system? And you know, not many people know what that is. The Mooney's 76 and older had a thing called PC in them. And on original paint, you'll see it says here, PC equipped, like it's a big thing. What it is, is positive control. It's like an autopilot. So basically, a vacuum system running off the engine, coordinated by the turn coordinator, which is well named. There's a regulator valve. The turn coordinator will allow the regulator valve to dissipate vacuum out into the wings. And in each wing and on the step, I'll show you that in a minute. In each wing, there's a thing called a servo. It's like a bean can with a rubber diaphragm on it with a cable on it that pulls. So if you turn, the turn coordinator will suck that diaphragm into that can and turn the plane so it'll move that aileron to maintain level. So all it, it doesn't know where it is, it doesn't know how high it is, it doesn't know which direction it's going, but it knows level. So it's positive control. Let's go in and have a look. So we're going to take off this side panel. These are all quarter turn screws. I've pre-loosened it so I don't have to bore you with all the details of undoing them all. And by the way, if you're ever doing paint samples, that's a very good sample piece because all the colors are on it. So you take that to the paint shop. But in here, if you can see in here, this is the guts. Here is one of the diaphragms, and it's a big one. The, the, the cans in the wings are a lot servos, or a lot smaller. And this is a rubber bag, and it sucks up the step. So I'll go around the other side and push the step up, and you can watch this. It's just the cable will go slack. So when I start the engine, it creates a vacuum, that diaphragm gets sucked into this can and pulls up the step, so now the plane's in the air flying with no step. And when you land and shut it down, vacuum goes away, step comes out. But by the time you've got out, it's already down, so you didn't even see the action, you've got to be fast. So here we are on the right side with the step. So when the vacuum, when, you, when the engine starts and the vacuum builds in the system, the step is drawn up into the plane. Sometimes you'll see them taxiing like that because there isn't enough vacuum, but once you take off, it's up and it will stay up, like that. And then when you shut it down, it comes down. So that's a nice little handy feature. And also, if you gear a plane up with the engine running, the step is not down. There's me talking about gear ups again. Don't do that. Inside it. Okay. The PC system. It's run off the turn coordinator. So the turn coordinator's movements go through a regulator and the regulator dissipates vacuum to each of the two ailerons, which pulls the bags, which moves the ailerons, which keeps it level. And when it's engaged, it just feels like the yoke is heavy. This, I amuse people by telling them, is the autopilot. That little valve from Britain Autopilots with two T's, not like the country, that little valve is $82 and it just, it's got a hole in it and you press it like that, and it lets vacuum out, lets vacuum in, and it goes in this hole. So when it's like that, the autopilot is on, it is engaged. So the plane is trying to level itself all the time. But if you were flying it, you would just have to press harder. You can overcome it easily because it's just a vacuum. But the idea was that you taxi out onto the runway like that, you take off like that, clean it up, point it in the right direction, let go. So the PC was positive control. It was always on, which can be heavy. So what you do is, if it's not stuck in there from lack of use, is just pull it out and store it somewhere. And this way the vacuum leaks and it's loose. I mean, it's loose now because the engine isn't running, but that makes it much more flyable if you want to hand fly the plane. But that is the autopilot. It's no GFC 500, but it's uh, without getting into FAA regulations, it saved my bacon once. So that goes in there, and it just knows level. There's no heading bug, there's no altitude hold, there's no direction. But if you were in an adverse, if you were in a turn or a lot uncoordinated and you'd lost control of it, and this was in there, the plane would level out. If on the center of the yoke there's a little trim button, and you just turn it, and it favors one side or the other, and theoretically, in a perfect world, it should be in the middle, but they never are. So 50 years later, 55, 56 years later for this plane, all the hoses and the lines and the vacuum, some of it cracks, they leak. So 
if you turn on your PC and the plane turns left, the left diaphragm is cracked or worn or there's a hose off. So there's a, if you go online, you can find the whole simple, it's, very, it's a simple system. You just follow vacuum lines, you bypass things to eliminate them. You can go through the whole system and rig it up so that your trim actually works. I once called Mooney laser and I said, I've just bought a Mooney M20C and my trim thing is fully to the left when uh, the plane's level. And he went, you mean it works? Like, don't touch it. But you can get them so that they work. And on a long cross country, they're actually very good. So we didn't fly it and we didn't get into much detail but I just wanted to go over that quickly because there is one in this plane and show you some of its components. So thanks for watching. This is Mark at Skywagon University. Down here you can click on subscribe and you can click on the bell for notifications. Thanks very much.